Hi, my name is Krista Daniels. I'm a naturalist here with the Elkhart County Parks, and I'm excited to be introducing our next letter in our Nature A to Z series. We're gonna talk about the letter Y, and Y for yarrow. Now, yarrow is a small native plant in the aster family that we commonly see in kind of partially sunny spaces, kind of like a meadow or an open field area. And we're gonna go for a little look today to see if we can't find it even on a December day. This plant is still green, the leaves. And so let's see if we can't find some, okay? Let's go. All right, let's walk this way. Kind of take a look around, see if we can't find this nice, distinctive leaf that can be found around here and oh, I found some. All right, we have to look a little bit closer because here is that distinctive feathery shaped leaf of the yarrow plant. It almost looks like a feather and like I said, it is still green even as we go head into the winter. Now, if we look a little closer at the leaf, we learn why part of its scientific name is millifolium, meaning thousand leaf because it kind of looks like it has a thousand leaves. Now, they're not a thousand leaves. Actually, what you see here, this long stem is one leaf, and all of these tiny little parts are leaflets that come off of it. So, it doesn't really have a thousand leaves, it, uh, it has leaflets, but you get the idea. Now, the other part of Yarrow's scientific name is Achillea which is based on Greek mythology stating that the great warrior Achilles used yarrow as a medicine or a, um, a soothing agent for the wounds of his soldiers while in battle. Hence the word Achillea. Now I don't know about Achilles, but I do know that for centuries yarrow has been used as a medicinal plant most commonly used to treat wounds, burns, um, abrasions on the skin. It has also been used as a tea to help soothe colds, fevers, or headaches. Now, because yarrow has had many, many different uses historically and medicinally over the years, it has acquired quite a few common names. I'd like to go over a few of those with you right now. Now, let's start with these. Bloodwort, nosebleed, staunchweed, woundwort and even carpenter's weed are all based on the fact that it has healing properties. It's been used in a medicinal plant for many, many years. Um, old man's pepper is another name based on the spicy flavor you get if you crush the leaves and eat them. Um, even down to another name called devil's nettle, which I believe comes from an old belief that yarrow could actually dispel evil spirits if mixed with the right combination of herbs. Um, it also could be the fact that very rarely, but sometimes it happens, people with really sensitive skin can have a like negative rash reaction to the plant. What a bunch of names, right? That's incredible. One plant, all of those different names. Now let's get back to the plant itself. This perennial plant can grow up to three feet tall with a flat topped cluster of white flowers in bloom during the summer months. The flowers are a great attractor for native pollinators. They're beautiful and they have a lovely fragrance. Once they have gone to seed in the fall, like you see in this photo, they can be a valuable food source to the birds and other critters. These seeds also fall to the ground, helping with new growth the following season, along with the plants spreading through the roots. Yarrow is a hardy and beneficial plant, for sure. There are also many different cultivars or kind of genetic variations of yarrow from the native wild version that I've showed you pictures of. Um, many cultivars that you can actually buy at like landscape facilities um, and plant in your flower beds. So here is one from my flower bed. And although most of the flowers have gone to seed this time of year, you can see this yarrow is still growing strong with pink flowers instead of white ones. It will be back next year, still growing, still attracting pollinators, and hopefully stronger and healthier than ever. Now, I hope you've learned a lot about this awesome little plant called yarrow. You can now feel confident heading out, seeing if you can pick it out. And I wanna invite you to um, stay tuned to our Facebook and Instagram pages where I'm gonna show you a few lookalikes, to not get them confused with yarrow, 
and also a few other little tidbits about the plant yarrow, this healthy, beautiful, and beneficial plant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.